firmware from this website, it's in GitHub, and then it's under Lucky's account, Lucky01, and pin to DMD. So if you go to that website, uh, and then you navigate through the firmware folder, latest, and then you'll see the various different versions of pin to DMD that have been released. Um, we, uh, we at the forum, uh, Pinball Info Forum, we did group buys on um, on two versions, which was uh, of firmware, which was the 32 and 16. That's kind of the data east narrow one, and the 32 is the standard sort of Williams Valley one, and then the 64, which is the XL that, that was used, I think, on um, Sega machines. So obviously, you need the firmware for the particular display that you have. So if you've got normal or skinny, you go into that directory. If you've got the bigger one, you go into that. That folder. I use this version so I'll click into that and then you've got effectively these different files as you've already got an activated pin to DMD display you just need the update file so if I click on that it'll download um, sorry it, it'll take me to the folder I can download it there is a word downloading it from the previous um, menu uh, screen sorry so um, so basically uh, I've now got this file on uh, on my hard drive, which I've downloaded. All right, so you've downloaded your update file. So the next important thing to do is uh, is copy that to the, the SD card that you took from your display. Um, so I'm on a Mac, uh, so you use uh, Finder to do that. <clears throat> and uh, basically, it went into my Downloads folder, uh, and there it is. So I'll just drag and drop that over to my SD card. On your SD card, you'll see probably just those two files, pin to DMD, FSQ, and pin to DMD dot pal. So if I just drop that in there, that's copied the file over. Now, the current file name I have is, is not good. It's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to rename that. So again, on a Mac, I can kind of just double click that. It's pretty much the same on Windows, I'm sure. Uh, and we're gonna call that pin to DMD dot UPD. There you go. So now when I, um, Unmount that uh, SD card, insert it back into the display. It should go through an update routine, which we'll check out now uh, in a in the video. Just one sec. So here we are back on the display. Here's my SD card, and uh, again with one hand, miraculously, I should be able to slip that in there. But you can see I've got the um, the contacts facing the front. So orientate that inside the little slot. Just push it down until you hear a click. There we are, and it just locks in place. Now what we'll do is we'll connect the power, uh, and I guess if it's in a real pinball machine, the uh, the ribbon cable as well, and we'll see if it updates. One sec. Okay, so finally we've got the power connected. I'm just holding in the reset button at the moment to stop it from booting up. Um, so when you power it on, you should see something very similar to this. You see how it says update, and then it reboots. And now you'll see the version number is 3.2. All right. Um, so that's pretty much everything that you do uh, to get this uh, updated. So hopefully uh, that was useful.